representative from Nintendo says that they don't develop achievements for their games. What? Just a damn minute! Hello everybody and welcome to another Just A Damn Minute. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about achievements. Most of you probably know that I am a gamer. I'm mainly an uh, Xbox guy. I don't really have any other systems. So it kind of caught me off guard when I read in an interview that Nintendo doesn't have achievements. And none of the Nintendo systems do. Not even the 3DS which is supposed to be released in late March. And I found this quite strange because most systems do. Like, they developed it for the PC, for Steam, they have them for the PS3. Now, Nintendo has pretty much the demographic of the casual gamer, you know, because of the Wii and Wii Sports. And so they kind of uh, grab people that are not really inclined to do the whole achievements thing. And I wouldn't really call myself an achievement guy. I like to play through the game, and if there's an achievement that I see that seems pretty easy, I spend the extra time to get it. But I'm not going to go get out of my way to spend all my time doing every single achievement to add points to my gamer score. Because I know that there are people out there that really care about their gamer score. I mean, I really only have about 8,500 points, where some of my friends have 30 to even 40,000. It's ridiculous. Now, I think that Nintendo really opted out of this opportunity to really let their customers play their games more so they can get more points. And I do understand that gamer points don't really matter in the end because people don't really care that much. But there are some hardcore gamers out there. Now in the interview where the representative from Nintendo was speaking about achievements, this is what he said, and I quote, When we create games, Nintendo designers don't tell you how to play their game in order to achieve some kind of mythical reward. But when you create achievements, you're not really telling people how to play the game. You're just giving them choices of things that they can strive for. And yes, there is a fault of gamer points in the fact that some games have ridiculously easy achievements that have really high points, and some games have ridiculously hard achievements that have really small point value. For instance, one of my favorite games, Just Cause 2, I spent about 80 hours spinning through the whole thing, and I got up to 85% game completion. And this is really a huge game. It's about 60 square miles it covers the entire game. It's kind of a free roam type. And to really spend that much time and get 100% would be ridiculous. You'd be spending hours upon hours upon hours upon hours trying to get this achievement when it is only worth 10 points. Yeah, you heard me. 10 points. So there's really just different views about this. What is your view? Leave a comment below, maybe even a video response, and tell me what you think. Now I'm going to be trying to release a new Just a Damn Minute every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, don't get your hopes up, it might end up being every Tuesday or every Thursday, uh, depending on how my work schedule goes out. You know, I'm still in school, so things are a little crazy. This has been another Just a Damn Minute, and I'll see you all next week. Peace. Hours upon 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 hours up